guys good morning um it's the morning of my surgery and i am excited uh, i'm just a little nervous well a lot nervous i woke up and literally i'm not lying my heart was like beating really fast and i wanted to drink water so bad but you can't drink or eat anything you know until everything is over um or you can't wear makeup so here i am um I don't know, I feel, I don't know, I'm just so nervous, and it's weird, because I, I didn't think that I would be this nervous, I thought I'd be more excited, but it's like something has flipped, I, I guess because I always thought like my first surgery would be like me having children, I didn't think that I would, this would be my first surgery, I mean I always obviously knew that I wanted a boob job, but I didn't know that this would be, you know, anyways. I have my surgery is at one o'clock. They want me to be there at the office by um, at least. Um, they want me to be at the office by eleven thirty. Sorry, I have to think about it. I don't know why. Um, and I don't know what, what why I have to be there so early. I didn't even ask. It probably would have aggravated me to even hear maybe all the things that I have to do. I know I have to take a P test to make sure I'm not pregnant or anything. But um, that's just about it. My sister's going to come with me. I appreciate her so much for that. My big sister, Letitia, you rock. Um, yeah, she'll be with me. And also, I'm going to stay in a hotel, like, a, directly across the street from the surgeon's office, only because even though I live in New York City and this is where I'm getting it done at, um, I feel like I don't know how I'm going to feel coming out of it. Like, well, I heard a lot of people say they were either nauseous or they were just, like, extremely tired or, like, kooky from the drugs. So I don't want to be getting ubers or like lifts and i'm not feeling well you know I, I just can't do it um and i don't want to be in the car anyway with the, all that motion i just I, I can't see that happening so i'm going to stay there for about the first three days of this operation uh, i hope that i can take you guys with me because i think it's important like i said to show people that maybe have some interest in this you know the ropes and i know there's a lot of youtube videos on this but you know everybody's story is different so um yeah, uh, I put most of my information in my first video, so you have to go check that out because I can't really repeat everything. Um, I am doing it at Lexington Plastic Surgeons. They're awesome. They have about four locations. I love their work. They're board certified. I would not do nothing less. You know, I, this is your body. You know, you have to be careful about doing, you know, going to just, for this your body. You have to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So... Um, they're awesome, like I said. I chose them because I just really like their work, and I've seen them go live on Facebook and all of that, and they seem really clean, and, you know, I, I just like it. Plus, they both certified. That's all I can say. Um, I'm going for a 365 cc. That's a, about a full C. But you don't really know. I heard some girls say that they don't, that you, you don't really know what size you'll be until... Um, after the surgery, I mean, after the swelling and your boobs drop or whatever, but I just want to get through this phase first, and then, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated more and more on what's happening. So, I'll reach I'll reach back out to you once I'm settled in a hotel or, um, after immediately after the <laughs> the surgery. I'm so nervous, I don't like, I'm sorry if I'm so draining and boring. Like, I'm not trying to pee. I'm just really nervous. But um, I hope Dr. Mahmood, who's my doctor, she's a female. I'm so excited about that. Right now, I just have on um, a Asics sweater that I bought because I don't have any zip-up sweaters, even though I work out. This is me before, so you kind of get a picture. Um, I'm turning it to the side. I don't know. In the front. You know, this is me before. So, you know, this is no padding. This is like one of the surgical bras they told me to order um, before my surgery. So I have this color and I have a white one. Um, that's just about it. I'm so nervous. Jesus. I'm afraid. Last night I was crying because I'm like, I was telling my mom, like, I don't know like how I'm going to feel. This is really different. You know, this is something that's going to change my life. 
And I'm gonna just look different. And I am excited about looking different. I just don't want people to think like I don't like myself or I have some kind of insecurity because I think that I'm I think that my body is fine. I just know that I'm just tired of I don't feel womanly like this. Like I can't it's just so many underlying issues with the small boob thing that people don't get. And then I'm already slim, and then I'm not feeling, like, sexy enough in a lot of the clothing. So it's just, like, a lot of things. But I, I like myself. I'm very confident. I'm not, like, you know, people kind of take things and twist it when you do, when you're going for procedures like this. They kind of want to twist it. But, I mean, I really don't care what anybody think, you know, that's up to them to think those things, I guess. Like, it's not a big deal to me. So why would... It's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If I don't get it, they'll call me a flat-chested wench. If if I get it, then they'll say, oh, you got fake. It's like you can't win in this world. It's like no matter what you do, somebody's going to say something crazy. But I just hope that people that do wish me well, that, you know, I, I, I appreciate them. And that's what, it, that's what I'm going to focus on, the positive energy in it. Um, yeah, so this is before and whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted, and I hope maybe she'll let me record in. If not, as soon as I come out, I will be, and I settle in the hotel room, I will be back. I really got it. I but I'm in so much pain um yeah so the girls are done um the girls are done um I don't know how much you can see they're really swollen right now they're really tight um I'm in my hotel I've just you know I, I got me a hotel so that way I could come right out and relax, even though I live in New York City. Yeah, so I never really updated about the pre-op appointment that when I finally did meet my mood. But um, she's awesome. We just went over sizing and, you know, the regular. And she gave me her some advice on how I should size up. I'm so sorry. Really not. This is crazy. Um, yeah, so they, we went over the sizing during the pre-op. You know, she let me put some of the implants up to my chest to see what I wanted and how I felt. So, long story short, we did go with the 365cc. So, now I'm, like, really excited. I do have my scars, but I haven't opened it yet. Maybe I'll save that for another update because I just feel really sore and I can't feel my freaking nipples. So, I'm hoping the sensation comes back. I went under the muscle. Um... And under the booby. I don't know the proper term for that, but that's what I did. Um, honestly, I'm so tired. I took, um, I have three meds. Sorry, hold on. I can barely reach over, but I have three medications that they had me pick up before the surgery. Um, the pain one is hydrocodone. It's like a hydrocodone and it worked pretty well my pressure was so high before when I came out of the surgery they didn't even let me leave I had to like literally it was jumping up and down so they're suggesting that I go see my primary care provider and make sure nothing is wrong with my blood pressure because I don't have really have history of high blood pressure in my family so the doctor the uh, anesthesiologist was really concerned about that so I didn't I didn't know um, the other medication that I have is called Dioxto. Um, maybe it's an antibiotic, uh, the, the Dioxto. And I also have uh, Cephalexin. I'm really horrible with these names, so bear with me. But yeah, oh, this is the antibiotic, the Cephalexin. I guess this one is a stool softener because they said, like, you get really... Um, constipated I did step out and get me a pillow 
before I arrived at the hotel because you need something that's going to help you sleep up. I can't lay on my side or stomach for a while. So I'm going to take those meds. And yeah. So, um, mainly all of my soreness is on the side. It's like intense, really intense. Um, it's on the side. So nothing here hurts. Nothing here hurts. It's the side. Like I have to... I feel it needs to like really stretch it out, but it hurts so bad. Um, I took painkillers already. I took the uh, hydro, whatever the name is. And 30 minutes later, I took another one. It says every four to six hours you should probably pop one, but I had to. It was like super intense. I have my sister here with me. She stepped out to go get a fork because she just went and got me some salad. So I'm going to eat, and then I'll start my... um. Uh, I guess the antibiotic. So, yeah. I'm really excited, you know. This is something that I wanted to do for myself. Because I'll be 30 in July. And I just got tired of, like, feeling like a kid. You know. So, excuse my face. I couldn't even wear any makeup. So, I don't look that great right now. Ah, oh, gosh. I can't even pull this chair. Sorry, I'm horrible at um recording. This is, That's not my thing. Um, yeah, so, I'm just, let me see if I can set this here, I'm doing this off my iPad, I'm not really a camera girl, I don't have cameras and all of that, but, yeah, um, oh, she wants to go get a fork, and she wants a preta manga, she's so sweet, I really appreciate her for this, I know that she's in the process of building a really great business, and, her mother sister, so I know she could be putting her time elsewhere or whatever. So, no dressing, sister. Oh, wow. No, no dressing. It's okay. I'm not gonna complain. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, the surgery was a success. I love Dr. Mahmood. She really was just so on point with everything. And I appreciate her. Because I, I called her like twice yesterday. And told her, I don't know if I could go 365 cc's. You know, that's really huge. I'm so small. Because I am small. You can see that. I'm so. She was like, listen. The day you came for your pre-op, she was like, what size were you comfortable with leaving out? And I said, I said that I wanted the 365cc. She said, that's it. She said, you know, in between time, you start talking to people, which happened. I did start talking to my friends, you know, wishing I'm a safe recovery now. But they were just, you know, trying to give me their pains and nothing, you know, malicious. They were just wanting me to know that. They thought it was too big. And I'm sorry, my eyes. You know, they just really wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing, too. So, I appreciate their opinions, but I had to go with my doctor, and she made me feel totally good about the choice that I made, and that I should stick to my first choice. So, I did, and they look beautiful. Only thing I'm hoping that I don't want them to be spread it out in the middle, because I don't like that wide gap boob, but they're still swollen, so we'll see how it, it, it comes up. Like I told you guys, I'm really small. I'm sorry. Oh, camel toe. Don't like that. So, I'm really kind of small. I'm not like a big girl or anything. And this still was working out for me and everything. So, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good. So, you can see. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm doing too much. Yeah, I kind of just want to chime in and let you guys know what's going on. All of the information for my doctor is underneath in the description. You can go watch my first video so you can get a more clear picture on my before and after. Maybe I'll take some time out to create like before and after slots of just old pictures I may have. That's going to be about it. But um, I appreciate all the support and I think you should do it if you want to do it. Go for it. I don't have any dressing. Oh, shit. You're a horrible nurse. I was saying thank you on here, but 
Now they get to see how we interact. All nurses are supposed to just have it all figured out. Listen, what what is this? We on? This is me recording now because I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. Oh, okay. So you're not actually like live or anything like that. Let me just tell y'all. My mind got shuffled around when I got to the damn cash register and shit wasn't going right. <laughs> So, don't curse so much on YouTube. They may not upload it because. Says who? You know how it does that thing on like Facebook where it says rights and because it's. That's says music. Rights. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Let me get off here because I'm a curse again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was it. It was pretty much easy. I think my mood, the doctor, is really young. She's so beautiful. Sorry. She knows what she's doing. I want her for the fact that she was young. And she's new to the Lex and Plastic Surgeons team. But she does like five or four breast augmentations a day. So she's dope. You know, she was totally cool about everything. My concerns. Like I said, I called her like twice yesterday. I don't know what the hell this is. This is soup? Yeah, they didn't have clam chowder. That's some type of curry. Something curry. I know, mean, that's not good either. You don't like it? No. Mm -mm. Wow. It's okay, though. I gotta try things, so. It they like... don't have no, no, um, really no flavors that, like, we are, like, used to. Yeah, let me get off this thing. I'm gonna wrap this thing up, um. Anyways, I'm going to put everything in the description below. I'll do like a few days after, you know, post-op vids just so you can see how they're coming along. Like I said, I'm just concerned that I don't want a gappy chest. So, I don't know. It's swollen now. So, of course, they're going to be like super tight and like separated. But I hope that my natural boobs were kind of gappy. So, you know, it won't be a big deal. But I'm just hoping that they kind of go a little bit. And I do have the scar patches. I haven't took the scar off i mean a patch off let's see it's like it's numb i can't even feel it you let can't. me just wait yeah let me just wait when she when tomorrow when i go see her she wants me to come back tomorrow which is good that i stayed across the street because i could just walk right over tomorrow at 3 45 she's going to do my one day post-op so i'll keep you guys posted on that so i'm probably not going to upload this video till everything is done tomorrow then we'll see Later, YouTube. T. Govan, signing out.